as you can see the charger is working and it's 100% uh, it is complete and after countless times of pushing and massaging the button to turn it on I finally you know this is like a, some kind of uh, plastic rubber thing that will protect it so I primarily bought it so I could swim with it but I cannot swim with it, with it anymore because the seal is broken because I massaged it so the tip is that you, if you have something your glasses or whatever you can just poke this button here and it will turn on the problem now is that it's not waterproof anymore so that's a bit sad So you can turn it on by pressing this little thing here. I don't know if you can seal it up in, in some way, but you know, if you massage this too long and if you try to push it, uh, then it's uh, it will spoil at some point. So just uh, a warning and information, and I would like to know if others have the same problem with this uh, Garmin. Type it's a Forerunner 910 XT. Bought it for swimming, but not swimming with it anymore. Maybe also I, there's somebody that has a nice suggestion how to seal this off and still use it. When when you don't have the all this plastic here and you can just use uh, something to poke with, it's much easier to turn off on and off. I don't know why. I don't know. What what's going on with the with the, this switch? When when um, after some time, it just periodically doesn't work. But now, when you have access directly to the the switch, the electronic part there, you can just poke it, and it works almost every time. So it's uh, if you can keep it out of moisture and water, then it's then it's okay, maybe. Rest day today. Yeah. Went wrong. So is it good? But it's slow, is it? As you good. saw, we had a. There was a flat tire when we went up first step. So, and we went super slow. And Garmin, trying to shut off the Garmin, you need to push the button with love to make it work. <laughs> 